Lake effect snow is back, forcing people in the North Country to get out their snow blowers and shovels for the season. You're always prepared. You just don't know how deep it's going to get. The village of Pulaski waking up to over a foot of snow, putting snow removal crews hard at work. We were aware that we would probably be coming in early this morning. Last night, around midnight, it was starting to get real heavy, and it was pretty clear that we were going to be having a busy day today. <laughs> but many weren't ready for what was dumped on their driveways and sidewalks. When I got up this morning, uh, I was kind of looking forward to snow blowing, but didn't realize it was going to be quite so wet and hard to move. My snow blower is getting clogged up and it's just not moving it like normal. And so it's, it's fun to be out here, but it's definitely uh, it's a challenge this time. Unlike a, a light powder that the snow blower takes care of real easy. This is this is, doesn't want to dig in as well, so it, it makes it harder. Have to go over it a couple times. I'm just not used to this. Now, because of how heavy and wet this snow really is, it's been all hands on deck for Alaska. Many neighbors helping one another because they know this could be the beginning of a very long winter. If someone needs it, I just help them out. Just something we all do around here. We stick together and give a lending hand when we need it. Cleaning my driveway, the fire department's driveway, my assistant chief's driveway across the street here. It's just another day here in Plaska, I guess. Lake effect snow warnings will remain active for Oswego, Lewis, and Jefferson counties until Wednesday morning. Reporting from Pulaski, I'm Isabella Colello.